Hi, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, Miss Four Lizard. And if you caught my last video, you know that that video was um, an update of my reading challenge in my reading journal and the setup of my reading journal. That video actually got cut off at the end. Well, intentionally cut off. The video was super long and I decided to cut the reading challenge update um, from the second half of the video, which was just the actual spread the setup of the spread for the books of Jacob. So that is what's gonna happen in this video. So I'm just doing a little voiceover intro before we jump into the video. So if you're interested in checking out this video, then just keep on watching. So what I wanna do in this video here, um, I glued some of that pre-punched cardstock paper from the Happy Planner pad to the back of this because I wanted to cover up um, this layout on one side i'm thinking uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do kind of like a freestyle junk journal type of situation on this half of the page and then kind of write more on this page i think that's gonna be like the happy medium that i'm gonna go for and i already started kind of um, playing around with what i'm gonna do here i'm thinking that i'm going to um cut this to be kind of like a border around uh, a border around this picture here. So I'll toss that and then maybe I will do something like that. Okay, and I think the first thing that I'm gonna do is use my um, letter stamps to stamp out the books of Jacob here at the top. And for ink, I'm going to use my Memento Dewdrop in Sweet Plum. This is a nice, deep, rich red purple. And you know what? I think it would be cool to do some like book statistics here, like next to the book so it could be something like um genre pages publication maybe awards here this was a pulitzer prize um winner so it'd be cool to write that down here okay i kind of messed up the writing there i think i'm just gonna go with a thinner uh felt tip and write out in lowercase instead of cursive there, I like that so much better. And then I'll just quickly fill this out here with a micron. So genre is historical fiction. Okay, that's fun. I like that. So I guess I will just go ahead and um, glue this down now. Okay, and then I'm gonna take some filler paper, I think, um, and cut out like, maybe like a chunk that big and then also cut off the uh, edge there take that out i kind of want to write down here um i kind of want to put uh, glue this down here so let me just glue that down just to give me some like writing space so what I want to write here is um, the subheading of the books of Jacob. The books of Jacob is the title of the book, but it also has a really long subheading. Um, I'll pop a picture of it here, but it's a really melodramatic and just really well written and tongue in cheek. And it's just, it's just funny. And I like it a lot and I think it'd be cool to write it down. I do want to remember it. I also have here my antiquarian sticker book, the Bibliophilia version. Of course I had to. And I thought it would be also cool to pop out, pop down a sticker here. Um, let me see what is a good one. Ooh, I kind of like this six-pointed star here. This is not like the Jewish star, but it kind of reminds me of the Jewish star. And, um... The books of Jacob is in a lot of ways about the relationship of Judaism and Christianity. 
particularly in the 1700s. So I'm gonna pop this down here. And I think one last sticker I'm gonna grab here is this wizard sticker um, because the book, The Books of Jacob, is about this messianic figure named Jacob Frank and how he basically started a cult um, kind of spinning out of Judaism. And he's kind of seen as this like magical figure and I just kind of think that this would be like a good little sticker um, to add there. And I think right here I'll add um, a long sticker, um, maybe one of these guys right here. This is my Mojo Jojo Plans sticker book. I got her rainbow bundle um, when it came out. Oh, I kind of want this to be a little bit longer. I might have to put this back. I might have to make my own box with this um, filler paper. So we're gonna grab my, what's this called again? Paper cutter, Fisker's paper cutter. See, there we go. That's perfect. That's perfection. So we're gonna go ahead and tape this down. And I think I'm gonna pull this out so I can work on it a little bit better. I'm gonna grab my modern bookish again and let's see if I can add anything here. I kind of want to add some of the washi tape that this book comes with. See this right here, this little strip. I think it'd be cool to add it like here along the edge. It'd be fun to add one of these like clear circle stickers here, maybe like um, let's see, where should this go? Maybe like right here. I also have sophisticated florals with me um, because it has that same beautiful color palette. So let me see if there are any stickers from this book that I'd like to add. I kind of want to add one of these stickers. Oops, I ripped that one. I kind of want to add one of these up here at the top. This is going to be um, my little like summary about the book there. And then I think I want to add a little bit more of like stamping motifs. I have this stamp that says, and the story begins. I think that would be a cool one to add here. So I'll just pop it here in the corner. And I also have this stamp with these beautiful little bottles. I think I'll dip it into my gold ink so it's nice and shiny and add this somewhere. Maybe here next to the wizard. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I want to redo the books of Jacob because it's kind of wonky. I kind of want to center it more and I kind of want to use like this scrapbook paper because it's a little bit, it's going to be easier to see the stamping on the, you know, just like this kind of color. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm being a little bit fussy with this, but that's okay. Okay, there we go. I do like it more so than what I did before. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down. Yeah, I'm happy with it. The fussiness paid off right now. Books of Jacob. And then I'm going to pop this back into the rings. And then for this page here, I still want to use these um, the teacher layout that came with this book or this planner. So I'm thinking of just adapting this to be a reading journal. I'm going to start off with laying some scrapbook paper, paper here at the bottom. And I have this extra bit of filler paper that um, was left over from, you know, the other pieces that I cut out for the other page. And, and I don't think I will use a lot of like filler paper like this on this side of the page because I already have so many lines here. I don't need like more lined paper, but I just want to use this. So I'm just gonna um, just pop it here in the corner. And I'm going to grab um, washi tape from this modern bookish. I really like these like words washi tape. I'm gonna layer some here along the edge. I 
it already says thoughts and reflections so that's perfect i can use this as like a little journaling spot i'm gonna go back into my bibliophile book and i think it would be fun to just pull for some kind of sticker and i think i'm gonna pull for this magician sticker again because as i said jacob is kind of like a magician like figure so i'm just gonna put that there maybe this eye right here i think that would be cool maybe put that right there Maybe some wine art flora. I think that would be cool. And let's see if there's anything in this sticker book that I would like to add. Maybe one of these beautiful stickers up here. Ooh, so pretty. And I think I want to add some boxes here. I would love to do like my favorite quotes. So I might add one here. Well, you know, maybe I'll peel this one up a little bit so that I can tuck it behind. And then I think what I'll do is add another sticker up here. I think I'll leave this space here as like free space for me to journal, write down um, vocabulary words I've learned. I always try to leave some free space for me on a spread that is undefined so that I have space to play around and be creative and anything I haven't thought of um, doing here, I can just add in there later. I can continue to journal in here if I want to add more quotes that I want to, you know, include in here, I can write those in here. Another thing that I like doing in my reading journal is to write down vocabulary words that I've learned. Okay, and I think the last thing that I'm going to do is write the subheading here. Like I mentioned before, it has a really long subheading and I think um, the little summary I'll write when I'm finished with the book. But I think right now I'm just gonna write down the subheading here. I always like the the look of like writing on a page. Like I like to like include in my before the pen planner setup some kind of writing because I just think it looks so nice. So I am going to use I think maybe a micron pen here to write out the subheading. Whoa, okay, I totally ran out of room there. I thought that that big chunk of filler paper would be enough to write down the um, the subheading here, but I, I guess the subheading, I underestimated its massive size. So the subheading is The Books of Jacob or A Fantastic Journey Across Seven Borders, Five Languages, and Three Major Religions, Not Counting the Minor Sects, Told by the Dead, Supplemented by the Author, Drawing from a Range of Books and Aided by the Imagination, The Witch Being the Greatest Natural Gift of Any Person, That the Wise Might Have It for a Record, That My Compatriots Reflect, Lay persons gain some understanding and melancholy souls obtain some slight enjoyment. Whoa, can you believe that subheading? That is such an ambitious subheading, but I love it. I think it's really appropriate to have a subheading. I think she styled the subheading um, kind of in the manner of those books published in the era that this book is set, which is the 1700s. Books of that era had really long subheadings like that. It was kind of a common practice. We've gotten away from having ridiculous subheadings like that, but I think we should bring it back. All right, everyone, I think I am fully done here with the Books of Jacob um, spread. When I'm finished with the book, when I'm finished listening to it, I will go ahead and write down my book summary. I'll also use this space to just reflect on the book in general, my take on it. These are going to be um, my favorite quotes from the book, and then this is just going to be extra space for me to journal or write down, you know, uh, vocabulary words I've learned. But I really, really like how this spread turned out for the books of Jacob, and I'm just, I'm so excited to be in this reading journal. 
I tend to read maybe like three books per month so I expect that for the month of September I'll have three spreads like this and then extra pages I can just pull out add to the back of the book use them as scratch paper or I could use similar to how I use the filler paper I could like cut out this section and use it as just um, kind of like places to write within um, spreads themselves I'll continue to use the monthlies kind of how they're intended to be used and once I get to the end of this um, planner and I've you know used this for a year I think my plan is to make my own dividers and print them out because I would love to continue with this like aesthetic of like modern sophisticated bookish I love the aesthetic so much and personally I actually like setting up photos like this of the books that I'm reading I like to like take pictures like this like style them and just take like really cute um modern minimalist cozy photos like this and i would love to kind of set up my own dividers and um and just continue in the same aesthetic because because i don't want to use a different style of divider but i also don't want to like be reliant on modern bookish continuing to exist and i also wouldn't want to like repeat dividers I doubt that they'll come out with more modern bookish stuff so I'm just gonna have to make my own if I want different dividers in the same style but I think that would be fun to do all right everyone thank you so much for spending so much time with me here today I really really appreciate it let me know what you're reading in the comments down below I would love to know give me any book recommendations that you might have and I hope to see you in my next video so until then stay safe stay blessed and happy Happy reading! Bye!